Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to get a colorful and subtle battery meter for your Android device. Now I already teased the main functionality for this one, and there's not very much to explain. Basically, it's a cool little app that has a tiny 3 pixel wide bar to the top of your screen to display battery life at a glance, and you can customize it with colors. The app itself is called Energy Bar, and it's available for free on the Google Play Store. So search it by name to get it installed, or you can use the link in step 1 in my full tutorial. Now when you first launch Energy Bar, you'll have to grant it an additional permission. So start by turning the feature on with the switch at the top of the screen. Then on this next menu, select the Energy Bar option. From here, enable Energy Bar's accessibility service, then press OK on the pop-up. After that, just head back to the app, and this is where you can do some customization. First, you can have the bar only take up a small portion of the top of your screen, or you can set this to status bar to have it overlay the entire thing. But personally, I prefer the normal method, so I'll stick with that. Then, you can set the bar's thickness with this slider down here. You can have it be anywhere from 1 to 21 pixels wide. Once you've done that, you can pick the origin of the battery bar. This is basically the point it grows out from when you're charging your phone, and the point it shrinks back down to when your battery is draining. Aside from that, you can have it auto-hide when you're using a full screen app but the fun stuff starts down here at the bottom. This color configuration section does what you would think, and the choices here are range or gradient. Gradient is a pro only feature, but it basically means that your bar will start with one color, then morph into another, and so on. But even if you don't go with the pro version, the range feature is really cool anyway. Basically, you take this first slider and set it to a certain battery percentage where you want the color to change. I'll go with somewhere around 15%, because that's where I'd like it to turn red. Then, once you've done that, you'll see a second slider. Use this one to set a second battery range, and I'm thinking up to 50% should do it. You could keep repeating this process to create as many different segments as you'd like, and each of these battery ranges can have its own color. So when you've got those set up to your liking, just tap either of the squares next to each segment, and you'll see a full RGB color picker. Use this to set the color of your first segment, which in my case I'm going with something reddish for this first one. And then when you're done with that, just repeat the same process for any of the other segments. When you're finished there, you'll see that the first color will be active when your battery is within this range, then the second color will kick in, and so on. But with everything set up, let me try to get a close-up of the battery bar in action. It might be hard to see in the video, but that's kind of the point. It's a subtle battery indicator that sits right there at the top of your screen, no matter what app you're using, and it provides at-a-glance information with its varying colors. But for the full breakdown, be sure to check out my article over on GadgetHacks.com. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks. But until then, happy gadget hacking.